Well, when it's this cold outside, a warm plate of comfort food Ooh. really hits the spot. Yeah, and Jen Pagano takes us inside the kitchen of Table 45 to cook the ultimate Sunday dinner in this week's Cleveland Cooks. We're here at the Intercontinental Hotel at Table 45, which is a creation of Zach Rule, where chefs like Donna Christ here do world-inspired cuisine. Yep. We're going to be making our braised short ribs, mm. which everybody has had it. Some people had um, pot roast when they grew up. This uh -huh. is just a restaurant version of that dish. We've got the short ribs right here, and if you can see, there's a little bit of fat in there, mm -hmm. and we really want a good fat-to-meat ratio, and people like fat. Yeah, they, they steer away. Exactly, but fat is flavor. Fat adds moisture. You start with a little bit of olive oil in this hot pan? Yes, so we're just going to take these. I'm going to put one in and you're going to do the rest of the work. Okay, put okay, me to just, work here. We're just going to sear these on both sides for just a couple of minutes. Okay, braise it and forget about it. I exactly. like that. Exactly. That'll be my motto tonight. Go ahead and turn these over. Okay. Oh yeah, look yes. at that beautiful color. This smells really good already. Yeah. Just a little salt and pepper on this. Put them in that yeah, tray. Yeah, we'll put them in that pan temporarily. This is just what we call mirepoix. Onions, carrots, celery. And then okay. we're also going to just take some whole garlic cloves. We've got fresh uh, thyme mm -hmm. and some fresh rosemary. Okay. You could go ahead and give that a quick little stir. You got it. So this is just a little bit of uh, red wine. We use a Cabernet. Okay. Can you use what you got in the, in the cabinet? Or well, let me tell you. If you're not going to drink it, don't cook with it. Okay, that's okay. a good rule of thumb. This is just a little stock. You can right. use beef stock. You can use veal stock. Now we're going to add some tomato paste. Let's take the short ribs, put it right back in that liquid. Okay. You okay. saw how quick and easy that, that was? That was super easy. We're just going to cover it with some foil. Put this in a 350 degree oven. Walk away and let it do its magic. Okay. Okay. And you said there's a glass of wine involved in this. I know. Too. We need to go to the bar. <laughs> We do a little roasted vegetable kind of on the line. So we do this separately where we will peel, roast all of these together, and then at the end, we add it separately. A little bit of oil, salt, and pepper. Again, maybe 350 degree oven, about 20 to 25 minutes. And we also serve ours with a very rested mashed potato. So it's been a couple hours. We're ready to see just how tender and tasty this stuff Absolutely. is, right? Absolutely. That's what we're looking for. You want to not have to use a knife with exactly. this. Exactly. So we're just going to take the sauce from there. It's OK if you get a little bit. Okay. Pour it right over. Put it on top or okay? Yeah, pour it right over because you want to have a lot of oh. liquid to eat. The... What is that? Oh, geez, that was Come sloppy. on, you're working in a so, restaurant. That's such oh, a rookie. That's it. It's such a rookie mistake. And then we just take these beautiful oyster vegetables and we just kind of surround it. A mm. little bit here, a little bit there. This looks like a like a Sunday night Absolutely. meal. Absolutely. So I know there's not a lot of color going on there, but when you put that in your mouth, it's Explosion of flavors. Yum. I think it's time to eat. Pork, Pork tender. Pork tender. It Look is. at this. That's a good dish. Mm -hmm. I do say so myself. You did a very nice job. So did you, Chef. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I envy people who can cook. Yeah. That's right. And it was a, I, their mouth was watering as they were watching this, the two of them right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I pre-cut oh, mine, goodness. not that I'm impatient, it's just that I'm sick. <laughs> Maybe and I, I want to be able to share, right? so. You look like you're, you're in your living room with your <laughs> big That's how we do at the Whitman house. At the Whitman house. I mean, we do straight. still have half a show to go. And this was really, honest to God, oh. very easy. I will do it at home. Um, I'm done. Maybe this weekend, even, because it's, it's just a good... Oh, it's really warm it's, your belly yeah. comfort Party food, too. right? Mm -hmm. Oh Ramona, my goodness! You can read the rest of the show. It's fine. Oh no, Jen, it's <laughs> Jen's turn. Do, do I need to read here? All yes. right. Well, you can find the recipe on uh, 19actionnews.com. I promise you, it's easy. And the 19 Action News Facebook page. If there's a dish you want to see me make with one of our chefs here in Cleveland, tweet me at Jen Pachano with the hashtag CLECooks. You can always send me an email to Cleveland Cooks at 19actionnews.com.